all right what's good guys this is your boy by Sean and welcome to my channel if you're new make sure you subscribe hit that like button comment down below my channel I am here to um, give y'all some um, tools to use if you're a designer or like to do uh, art for fun um, so yeah check out my other videos so some show some support uh, I appreciate the love and like I said again uh, subscribe to my channel I appreciate that so in today's video I'm going to show y'all how to use Adobe Photoshop to create a sneaker template so you can change the color of it so you're gonna go on the web. We're gonna get a um, image from the web. Um, I'm gonna use the Nike Dunks, the off-white ones. I'm gonna go to Google. I'm gonna type off-white dunk. I'm going to pick the lot 15. You can pick any one, but um, just make sure the color is a light color. It's just easier to change the color when it's light. So this light gray will be easier to uh, change that to uh, purple um, any color red blue rather than doing like a black color and it's pretty it's harder to change that color so you can use this tool that I'm teaching you to um, I say if you get these dunks or any shoe you want to do you want to do uh, customize and change the colors or restoring it um, you can do Jordans like I said whatever just get the image we're going to put it in Adobe uh, Photoshop and we are going to um, do overlays of it. So you can get um, a real image of the color you're thinking of changing or just to custom how you want to customize the shoe. So um, can't use that. Can't use that one because of it says web and not um, PNG. I want a PNG picture. I probably all will say with okay this one says PNG so you're gonna go to find your picture what is this all right go find your picture I'm using off a of flight club you can click on that uh, you can screenshot it uh, take a picture of it whatever um, I just dragged it over had it to my image I mean dragged it over to my desktop and it says J uh, JPG um, which is JPEG or you can have a PNG one um, those are the ones you're looking for, the two um, name tag ends. So yeah, it's nice, clean, it's not blurry. Then I'm going to drag that into my Adobe, Adobe Photoshop. You need Adobe Photoshop if I didn't um, explain it already. So here's my picture. So here's one I did already, it's the same one. But it's the same shoe, but see how I changed the gray to till, till brown. You can change I can change it any color, but I just did brown. Um, and it still has the suede look. So this is what I mean is giving you a real look of um, the custom you want to do. So it's still suede, but it's brown, just like how this one is suede gray. Come on, my desktop is there you go. Suede and it's gray. And then I can change whatever I did to it. So we're in. Um, we have the picture that we took from the internet, saved to our desktop, put into Adobe Photoshop. See his background layer. We're gonna unlock that so you can do some customizing of this. First and foremost, I always take the magic wand tool, click the shoe. Um, so let me do the quick selection. I'm using the quick selection. Magic Wand tool is good when the color separates. So this white background and the gray is kind of similar. It's real close to the computer. So when you click on it, it won't really separate it as much as you want it. So I'm going to use this quick selection tool to um, get that separation. And then I have to be on plus. Make sure it's on plus So before you're adding. And then I'm going to make the size a little lower. And then I'm going to do the minus to subtract because I want this part not selected. So I'm doing that. And I'm doing this to save the shoe so if anything ever happened to the shoe or something I can't undo, you will have the original shoe. So it's pretty much a copy and paste. Well, that's what you're going to do. Copy and paste and save this layer. So 
if you need the original picture, you don't have to start the original shoe color, shoe design, original shoe picture. You don't have to start from um, scratch if you didn't save it and then lost data or something like that. Okay, that's good enough. I don't need to be perfect. So then I'm going to do um, copy and paste it. You can either go up here and edit, copy and paste, or I am on a MacBook. So I'm going to do Command C, Command V. Actually, sorry. Um, I'm going to undo that. Um, I want to go to um, Layer. And sorry, no, not Layer. Um, I want to go to Select. Sorry, Select. And then I'm going to click the inverse. And then it's just selecting the shoe for me. I'm going to do Command C and Command V. And if you can see right here in this corner on my layers uh, panel, you see the shoe. When I first did it, it was like just missing the shoe. It was just the background. I don't really need that. So I have this. I'm going to use the pixel lock. Okay. So I can name this um, the first one background. And then the one that we just did, um, the dunk. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the background. This is where I'm going to do my editing. I'm going to use my zoom tool to get close up on it. Now it's certain tools you can use to create an overlay selection. You can use the magic wand tool or the quick selection tool. And like I said, the magic wand tool will, will mainly work if you know um, all the layer panels are separated. So you really can't see where this, you can see this where the swoosh is separated and this heel, um, heel part, but the computer barely can see it, so it's going to select everything. So, I got to use my quick selection tool, the plus, and make sure it's on um, a small enough one. If it's real big, it's going to grab everything. So, if I'm on 21, then I'm just going to go around the shoe. You can do that. And... You can do it like that and subtract it, the stuff that you don't want in there. This one will be a little bit more tricky because everything's a little close. So you can do it like that and now I just have to add that again. You can do it with that tool or I am going to um, undo everything. Let me just deselect. Uh, or I can use this pen tool and go around the section I want. And like I said, make sure you are on um, your background. So I'm using my pen tool, but you have to make sure. See how it's already say shape? I'm on the wrong selection for my pen tool. It needs to be path. So I am going to have to delete that one. Make sure it's on path and then go over it. I'm just going to do a real quick. Um, you can take your time. It don't have to be perfect. It's just a little sneaker mock-up template that gives you um, an eye. A, f a color you can change the shoe if you're thinking about changing the shoe or if you a customizer you can do this as well this is what I use I customize shoes and I also design shoes for um, my boss um, I will talk more about that in another video but after you select it make sure you hit the selection I want to I want to do a new selection. It's going to be the uh, feather radius is one, and then we have anti um, Elias on. And press OK. You should see running ants. Then that's how you know you're good to hit Command C, which is copy, and Command B, paste. So you have that layer right there. You want to lock that with the pixel lock. Then you're going to name it. So I'm just going to name this heel panel. Bam. And then you want to save it. I have one already, so I'm not going to save. You're just going to go to File, Save, Save As, put a name in. 
So with this here now, I have this selected. I can change the color of it. And then you just use any other panel you want on the shoe and you can do it. Um, I'm not going to do the whole thing because I already have one done. I will show y'all um, me changing the color of it. But I'm going to go to double click on the heel panel. Your layer style is going to come up. So for this video, I'm just going to teach y'all a color overlay. So this is how you change the color. I have this selected and I can change the color of it now. So I'm going to cover color overlay. Then I am going to go to um, linear burn. second my all right so yeah I have to put um, make sure the one the overlays you do make sure it's above all of your base your two base um, overlays so I need to put, in order for me to see what I'm changing the color of, I have to put it on t uh, this heel panel on top of my background and my shoe overlay, my donk. So I'm going to double click, layer style, color overlay. So the blend mode, see how it says normal and it shows you the color, but you don't see the texture of the shoe. You're gonna hit norm, um, hit the blend mode. Then you're gonna go to linear burn. Okay, there you go. You can see the suede, and it's the color that you've picked. To change the color, well, you can change the um, opacity to 100. Um, you can go down, whatever. To change the color, you're gonna double click your um, color overlay square, and then you can pick all these colors. Um, you got like an olive, uh, black, obviously you really wouldn't be able to see black as much, um, a darker gray, um, you could do this like hot pink, blue, you know, you got a lot of colors to choose from. And then you just do the rest of the layer like I said, um, and you will end up, I just did the uh, suede panels, you can do the laces, you can do... Um, the leather middle uh, panel, the toe box, you know, you could do either the midsole and the um, sole. So, like I said, um, so I'm, I can change the color of the swoosh. I'm gonna go to my color overlay. I have the color there. You know, I can do a yellow, um, blue, you know. You can just change the color, whatever color you're thinking of, customizing a shoe or changing the color of or just want to just play around and do this for fun. Like I said, um, I do this for fun as well. And when I customize shoes and for my boss, um, I help design shoes and uh, change the color of the, sh the shoes that he released. So you just repeat those steps over the panels you want and you um, make sure you use one of those tools I showed you, new selection, make sure it's on path. Um, if you got any questions, comment down below. Hopefully y'all liked this video, enjoyed it, learned something new. This is a really easy way of figuring out what color goes good with your shoe or if you are thinking about a color and you're not sure, this will show you uh, face to face on your computer screen. So I like to use this tool because it saves a lot of money and if it's, you change the color of a shoe and it doesn't look right, you save your time from that as well. So. Make sure y'all uh, like this video. Comment down below if y'all got any questions or what y'all think about the video. If y'all liked it, y'all want me to do more. I'm giving y'all a free game. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I appreciate all the love. Uh, let's go ahead and get to 1K now. Past my 500 mark. Um, like I said, I appreciate all the love. And um, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm out.